WebSockets are used in systems where we need to display data in real time and with low latency. For example, chatting applications, stocks prices fluctuations, or game leaderboards. Now before moving forward, let's step back and talk a little bit about history. In HTTP 1.0, each separate request would have its own TCP connection. We would open a TCP connection, send a request, and as soon as a response is received, we would close that connection. For example, if we would want to load four images, we would open and close four separate TCP connections which would kill the performance. Now in HTTP 1.1, things have changed. We have a new header called Connection, Keep Alive. We can initiate a TCP connection, keep it open, and have multiple requests and responses in this single TCP connection. Because persistent connections were introduced in HTTP 1.1, WebSocket's minimum HTTP version should be 1.1. Historically, creating web apps that needed bi-directional communication has required an abuse of HTTP to pull the server for updates. But sending multiple requests is expensive and could cause server overload. A simpler solution would be to use a single TCP connection for traffic in both directions. This is what the WebSocket protocol provides. WebSocket is a stateful bidirectional protocol built on top of HTTP. It uses a single TCP connection for traffic in both directions. The connection between client and server will keep alive until it is terminated by client or by server. WebSocket uses those default URI schemes for secure and unsecure connections. Also, WebSocket is not HTTP. It is indeed more complex and of course more persistent and more lightweight. It is an independent TCP-based protocol. Its only relationship to HTTP is that its handshake is interpreted by HTTP servers as an HTTP upgrade request. Now don't get the wrong idea, HTTP is great, but the request response model doesn't cover bi-directional communication. The WebSocket handshake is the bridge from HTTP to WebSockets. The WebSocket protocol begins its connection to the server as a simple HTTP request. In order to start the connection, client sends an HTTP GET request that includes at least the following headers. If any of these are not included in the HTTP headers, the server should respond with an HTTP error bad request. The connection upgrade header was introduced in HTTP 1.1 to allow the client to notify the server of alternate means of communication. The SEC WebSocket key header is used during the handshake to ensure that the client and server are speaking the WebSocket protocol. It is a random base 64 encoded value that is generated by selecting a 16-byte value as a nonce. The SEC WebSocket version header indicates the version of the WebSocket protocol that the client supports. If the client is a web browser, it will supply the origin header. If the server does not wish to accept connections from this origin, it can choose to reject the connection. Server will only accept connections from listed origins. If you are using a browser that supports WebSocket, the whole handshake and the generation of the relevant headers will be handled automatically by using the JavaScript API. The handshake from the server looks like this. According to the WebSocket RFC, the only indication that a connection to the WebSocket server has been accepted is the header field sec WebSocket accept. To get its value, the server would concatenate the value of sec WebSocket key received from the client with a predefined global unique identifier defined by the RFC. Then, the string formed will be hashed, then base64 encoded. This magic string exists because it will very likely not be used hmm? by servers that do not understand WebSockets. The server responds with a 101 status code. Any code other than 101 results in an error and means that WebSocket handshake was not completed. Once the client and server have both sent their handshakes, and if the handshake was successful, then the data transfer part starts. This is a two-way communication channel where each side can, independently from the other, send data at will. Now let's get a little bit deeper, shall we? After a successful handshake, clients and servers transfer data back and forth using, at the bit level, a sequence of frames. 
There are control frames and data frames. Control frames communicate state about the WebSocket, for example, the close frame, which is used for closing connections. Data frames, on the other hand, as their name implies, carry regular application data. Contrary to control frames, they can be fragmented. For security reasons and other concerns explained by the RFC, it is required that a client must mask all frames that it sends to the server, whether or not TLS is used. Those concerns are related to proxies in the middle that do not understand WebSockets. RFC also requires that a server must close a connection if it receives a frame not masked. On the other hand, a server must not mask frames it sends to the client. A client will close a connection if it receives a masked frame. Now let's zoom a little bit into our frame. This is how the frame bit structure looks like. To know the details about what each field means, you can check the WebSocket spec. We will go through some fields. The fin bit indicates if this is the final fragment in a message or not. The opcode defines the interpretation of the payload data. Zero, for example, is sent for all data frames except the first one. The mask bit should be one if sending from client. The masking key field is present if mask bit is set to one, which means if sent from client. The masking key is a random key of four bytes chosen by the client. To decode the frame, we XOR its content with the masking key four bytes at a time. A WebSocket frame header can be at max 16 bytes, which is way smaller than a big HTTP header, which can reach the size of 16 kilobytes. And that's it. We're done with this quick explanation of WebSockets. Of course, you can try writing your own WebSocket server or, you know, use already existing libraries that handles all this complexity because why not? <laughs>